Hello, good evening everyone. Welcome to Facebook uh, Live. Come on in. Everyone, come on in. Join me this evening. God's blessings. <clears throat> I don't know where is my. I'm looking for my uh, remote control of air condition. <coughs> Hello, Dada Brad. God bless you, Bradley Black Virginia. Good evening, everyone from here. Uh, so uh, I will share to all of you my daily devotion and my topic to share to all of you this evening is doing doing the word. Daily devotions, doing the word in the box of Philippians, something like I'm going to sneeze my nose. Uh, uh, Philippians chapter 4, verse 9, my scripture, and Matthew chapter 28, <clears throat> 18 to 20, and also Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. So this is my scripture to share to all of you that my topic is doing the word daily devotions god bless you everyone here uh, all prayer warriors please keep praying for my uh, cousin uh, Esther Galia Blasa I'm very sorry about this um, this afternoon uh, I spoke to her sister the youngest sister for my cousin that she have already stage for cancer in ovary so everyone uh, all prayer warriors all prayer warriors, please keep in your prayers, my cousin, and also really need prayers, a deep healing prayers, a miracle. I believe my faith always, I believe my faith, a miracle for my cousin, and also spiritually, financially, really the whole family needs needs help. So if anyone can, can send help for my cousin, I really appreciate to all of you that I post yesterday about information so doing the, the the words daily devotion box of philippians chapter 4 verse 9 those things those things which she have both learned it was saying okay those things which she have both learned and received amen hello sister uh ronda mega bless you cc thank you so much appreciate this evening thank you Receive, receive and heard and seen in me. Do and the God of peace shall be with you. In the books of Philippians chapter 4 verse 9, our topic, daily devotions, doing the word. So I will repeat again. I will read my scripture. Those things, those things which we have both learned, God was saying, and receive and heard. Amen. And seen in me. Jesus was saying, do, amen, and the God of peace shall be with you. Amen. Daily, daily devotion message, it was saying, the Apostle Paul in the opening scripture gave, gave his disciples a spiritual principle to apply to their life. So, Apostle Paul, okay, the opening scripture gave, give his disciples amen a spiritual a spiritual principle to apply amen apply to their life it means is apply to our life amen so the apostle paul use he used his lifestyle amen as a living example to teach to teach the gospel he believed in leadership Amen. By example, a principle with Christ Jesus also taught his disciples in Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 20. Okay. And Jesus was saying in Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 20. And Jesus came and spake unto them. Jesus. Okay. Jesus came and spake. Speak, okay, and speak all his disciples. Hello, Kuya Eugene uh, B. Alexon watching from Canada. God bless you, Kuya. So Jesus was saying, Jesus, when he came and spake unto them. It means it, he speak to his disciples. And Jesus was saying, all power, 
is given unto me. So when Jesus start teaching, okay, the gospel of God, Jesus speak to his disciples and Jesus saying that all power is given unto him, amen, in heaven, in heaven and in this earth. It means is his father giving all power unto him, heaven and earth. 19. And Jesus was saying, Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Jesus was saying in Matthew chapter 28 verse 19, Baptizing, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. So Jesus was saying to all disciples, all his followers, all his believers, that go in everywhere in this world, amen, <clears throat> and teaching and baptizing, and baptizing all people that the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, amen, the Father, and his son Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit. 20. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever. Okay? Whatsoever I have commanded, commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. So, doing His Word. Okay, so here we are. So, there are, in daily devotion message, there are five, five vital words, prices, that must, that must be of interest to every Christian. They are learn, okay, the five vital words, five. Okay, so they are learn, receive, heard, seen in me, and obey. So this is the final vital words. Amen. How the way we are teaching the gospel of God. So it's number one is we need to learn. Amen. We need to learn if what the scripture saying and number two amen we need to receive amen receive if what we are praying for that we having desire amen that we need to be humble and having desire in our heart amen and we heard amen we heard everything what the scripture is saying is all about the truth so we need to speak the truth because we heard we heard what what we see amen what we see and what we read because okay Jesus was saying sin in me so it means is we see Jesus Christ amen and obey obey the commandments of God so there are five vital words amen so being a Christian, amen, must look up, up, amen, must look up to their leaders to learn from them. Who is our a great leaders of the whole universe? Only, only one, only one. We have a great leaders of the whole universe, and that is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. So, okay. Receive. So, it was saying, leaders to learn. So, we need to learn from Jesus Christ. Amen. And receive. Amen. Receive from Him. Because only Jesus is a true leader and a great leader of the whole universe. Amen. And receive from Him. Amen. And hear, okay, and listen to him. We hear, 
Amen. We hear the commandments of Jesus Christ. Amen. And listen. And only listens to our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And see. See the word of God. Okay. The word of God in him. In him is by Jesus Christ. Amen. And finally. Obey it. You must obey the commandments of God. You must obey the commandments of Jesus Christ and not disobey. Amen. This is how, how being a followers of Jesus Christ, that Jesus is a great leader of the whole universe, that we are doing his words. Amen. Okay. So here we are. <clears throat> so a leaders, if there's a leaders telling you, Amen. Here we are. There's a leaders who tell you to do, okay, or who will teach you. Amen. This is a, I'm reading here. Okay. A leader who tells you to do what I say, but don't do what I do. Okay. That is what we call a bad leader. Amen. Why we should follow the leader that even thought we know it was bad and wrong. Amen. And then if we will not follow him, and then it was like they are getting mad at us. Amen. That is not a good leader. Because it's what we call that is sound like they are they are forcing you or they are demanding you that you need to do it. There's a lot of churches in all around the world. Amen. A lot of churches, amen, those leader, amen, that they are like demanding, amen, forcing their members that even though how hard it is, but the half of salary they need, the members needs to, okay, to open my back. My net is slow. So there's a churches, there's a churches that they are demanding to their members that even though their salary income, they need to pay for the church for 50%. So it's in the Bible it was saying that members members of the church amen they need to pay 50% to offer or to give to the church so then in the Bible okay you can read in the Bible if what scripture if how many percent okay that you need to offer a donor to the church is only 15% and is not 50%. So then the leaders of the church, that is what we call. It's not a good leader. It's a bad leader. Amen. You cannot read in the Bible that members need to pay 50% of their salary income. Amen. So who is making rich? The members or the leaders? Amen. So the, the, the message was saying, okay, a leader who tell you to do what I say, but don't do what I do, okay, is a bad leader, amen, and must be avoided you see even the message it was saying you need to avoid for those kind of leaders of every church how the way became leader of this church amen the best leader here we are the best leader to follow as a christian okay is only one Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
You see, so the best leader that only we follow being a Christian, amen, is only one and that is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He is the author and finisher. Our faith, okay, in our faith. In Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2, okay? Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him enjoyed, enjoyed the cross, despising the shame, <coughs> excuse me, and it sit down on the right hands of the thrones of God. Amen. So you can see this. So it was saying that the best leader for being Christian, only one we need to follow. Only Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. You can hear this. The best leader to follow as Christian is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Okay, in books of Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2, it was saying, again, I will read, Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. The author and finishers of our faith. Amen. Hope for the joy, okay, that was set before him, enjoyed, enjoyed the cross. Yes, of course, Jesus enjoyed the cross that Jesus alone nailing on the cross. Amen. Despising the shame and is sit down on the right hands of the thrones of God. So doing his word. Okay. So daily devotion. <clears throat> doing his words. Amen. So in the main scripture is Philippians chapter 4 verse 9. So those things. Amen. Which he have both learned. It means it. Those things we all, we all both learn, amen, and receive, amen, and heard, and seen in me. It means it, we seen from our Lord Jesus Christ. We learn from Jesus Christ, we receive from Jesus Christ, we heard from Jesus Christ, and we see from Jesus Christ, amen. Though and God, Jesus God of peace, shall shall be with us amen so doing doing the word doing the word that we stand to follow that only jesus is a great leader of the whole universe that only jesus that we need to learn from him and not to learn from the people amen we receive our faith finishers of faith through by Jesus Christ. Amen. And we heard, we heard the commandments that only Jesus Christ telling us the truth. Amen. Only Jesus is the truth. We heard the gospel. We heard the commandments of Jesus Christ. Amen. That only Jesus is the truth. Amen. That only Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life to heaven. Amen. And we see him. We see Jesus how he enjoys on the cross. We see Jesus how he died on the cross. We see Jesus how he was nailing on the cross. How he crucified on the cross. Amen. We say because we have eyes. All of us, we see him. Amen. So you can hear the main scripture in the books of Philippians chapter 4 verse 9. Doing the word. Amen. So it means doing the word, the commandments of Jesus Christ. Amen. So all those things, those things, we all, amen, we all both learn from Jesus. Amen. We all receive and heard from Jesus. Amen. And only we see in him. Amen. 
This is why Apostle Paul, amen, his opening scripture give his disciples, amen, a spiritual principle to apply, amen, principle to apply to their life. It means to our life, to apply in our life. Amen. So Apostle Paul, amen, use his lifestyle, amen, as a living example to teach the gospel. Okay. He believed. So Apostle Paul believed, amen, a leadership by example. Okay. So a principle with Christ Jesus all taught. Okay. His disciples, so you can read, okay, in Matthew chapter 28, 18 to 20, okay. So we have, being a Christian, we have five vital words, being a Christian, amen. So the vital words, the five vital words is we learn, receive, heard, seen in me and be amen so if you think which we gonna learn from the people nothing only we can learn from the bible only we can learn okay the gospel of jesus christ and we need to obey amen we need to obey his commandments amen this is why we need to learn as much as we can read we read so that we can learn. Amen. Everything we know. Amen. It's very clear for all of us. Amen. Doing words. Doing words to stand to follow Jesus Christ. To preach in every nation. I mean, if how Jesus, he start ministry when he became a man. Amen. So this is why we need to follow Jesus. We we'll follow Jesus. Amen. That, and teach every nation. Amen. That baptizing the Father and the Sons and the Holy Ghost. Amen. So being followers of Jesus Christ, we need to spread His gospel. We need to spread His gospel in kingdom. Amen. All of us. All of us being a followers, we need to obey Jesus' commandments. Amen. We need to share to all people. We need to explain what the scripture teaches us. Amen. It's not very hard to understand. Only we read the scripture. Amen. And then we preach or we spread. Amen. Only we read the scripture, explains to the audience, amen, and then encourage people, inspired people with the having the love and compassion of Jesus Christ that we are doing the words. Doing the words is the commandment of Jesus Christ that we obey. Amen. We need to obey. It's not simply, it's not simply for all of us, for every people. Amen. That it was like only you are doing your words or you are only doing, you can do whatever you want to do to share the gospel. It's cannot. We need to read the scripture and preach in kingdom. Spread in everywhere. Amen. Because without scripture support it means is we are out of the line it means is only we are doing our own understanding without amen without hear from the bible amen this is why we need to share the scripture from the bible we need to share for all people so that people will understand. Amen. This is why Jesus, only Jesus, only Jesus, we need to stand and follow. 
because only Jesus is a great leader of the whole universe and is not man on earth. So why should we need to follow man on earth and is not Jesus Christ? Amen. Because man on earth, amen, is still a sinner. Just think about this. Doing the word, the commandments of God, why we should or we need to follow the man on earth, even to how they are strong spiritually, but still sinners. And only one we need to stand to follow. Jesus Christ that we need to doing his words. Amen. Just think about this. Amen. Why we need to follow man on earth. We are all sinners. It means no one was perfect. Even to how you are strong living spiritually. Even me. Don't follow me. Being Bella. Follow Jesus Christ. How I follow. Because I'm still a sinner. Amen. We are all sinners. But we can feel doing the word. Okay, how the way we share our message. You can feel if someone feeling the truth or not. Because you can feel in your spirit. Amen. So only one we need to stand and follow. Jesus Christ. Because his commandments and is not the man commandments on earth so then how we need to follow man on earth or people on earth amen if you follow me being bila follow jesus how i share to all of you and not me being bila amen i'm not perfect but i stand I stand to follow Jesus, amen, how the way he teach, because only Jesus, amen, is a great teacher in a whole universe. Uh, it's not people on earth. So doing his words, amen, doing the word, the word of God, amen, only we need to learn from Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus he start ministry when he became a man. Amen. So then we have ear to hear. We have eyes to see to read the Bible. So then we understand what is the commandments of Jesus Christ. What is his words? Amen. You can hear this in books of Philippians chapter 4 verse 9 is very powerful. Those things Jesus was saying, okay, which ye have both learned. Both. It means it's all of us. Receive. Unheard. Seen in me. Amen. Though and the God of peace shall be with you. So if you think, if you follow the man on earth, Amen. You cannot you cannot say that you cannot see that the man of peace shall be with you. How you having peace with other people? Amen. Because we are all sinners. Just think about this. Amen. So it means the God of peace. Amen. Shall with us. Okay. Shall with us. Amen. Shall with us forever. Of course, because Jesus is God and Jesus is God of peace. So, amen. Jesus is the light of the world. Jesus is everything. Amen. All in all, whatever I say. 
but Jesus Christ. Amen. So this is my message to share to all of you this evening. God bless you, Brother Darinok. God bless you, Brother. Thank you so much. Daily devotion, doing the word. Amen. So for those people, for all my brothers and sisters in Christ, remember how doing the word. Remember how you preach the word of God. You share the word of God. Amen. Doing the word of God, amen, is you need to learn, amen, you need to learn from the Bible. All scripture written in the Bible, amen. This is why all the time, as much as I can do, I always show and read my scripture so that everyone will understand. Because... It's very hard to share, to share the message only for your own understanding without, without scripture, amen, without or you are out of the line or not in the Bible. Because later on, if someone will ask you, then how can you prepare the answer for those people? Amen. So then, it's number one, we need to use the scripture. So everyone asking us, we have the answer, okay, to show it to them. Amen. It's not simply here, okay, I'm Facebook Live, and then you, you start doing what you Whatever you want to do it here. And then later on, there's a lot of people wants to ask you. And then how? How you will prepare your answer. And then people will tell you, you are a false teaching. You know the world. The world we are living, this is the evil world. Amen. And there's a lot of people always. Amen. Even though you are doing good. Amen. Even though you are doing to serve to our Lord God, because this evil word, there's a lot of people will cursing us. Amen. Especially if we stand Jesus. The enemies is very active. Amen. So this is my message to share to all of you this evening. God bless you, everyone. Daily devotion, doing word. My scripture is the books of Philippians chapter 4. Verse 9, amen. And Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 20. And Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. Thank you everyone here. God bless you everyone here. Bradley Gladbridge Sr., thank you so much. I know he is very busy working. Thank you so much. Uh, Big daddy bear, dada Brad. Sister Ronda, I appreciate Sister Ronda. God bless you. Brother, uh, we are Eugene B. Alexon watching from Canada. God bless you. Darinok, good evening from London. Linda McRae, God bless you everyone here. Thank you so much. Keep praying for my uh, cousin, Esther Galilea Blasa, really. My heart is really heavy because she had stage 4 cancer only this afternoon, I know, from her youngest sister in Manila. So I call in video call. For my other one cousin, the sister of Esther Galilea Blasa, my cousin in the Philippines, that is really need deep healing miracle prayers and also spiritually prayers and financially really needs the family help. So I am the one, I am the one asking help, asking help for all people, my family in Christ, if how you can help them. I post already in my timeline, but I cannot do anything that go fund me fundraising money because they don't have in the Philippines. So it's very hard for me also here because I don't have account here in Qatar. I don't have bank account here in Qatar, so I cannot do anything. So, but if who, if who will help, even those a single penny amounts, single penny amounts. I post already if how you contact her daughter is really a big help and it's really appreciate. Amen. Even though I actually I helped her already before 
but because of situation is still not enough amen so prayers spiritually and financially i'm asking my family in christ if who will help her and also the wife of brother richard novak needs prayers amen for who those who who ask for prayers let's pray for all of them amen even those i cannot mention for all people because also i am working here i'm very tired also i'm busy also but i'm trying my best amen so doing my job to share the gospels to all of you here in social media amen so really appreciate to all of you bila ustaga from bella's ministry warrior of christ and united for christ the power of god's ministry and the power of god's church i know until now i am still here because still in the philippines in manila is still locked down so i am waiting in god's time and in god's will so i can go back home amen it's not my time but i trust the lord god everything will be okay i really i really i would love to preach in everywhere in manila philippines amen also this time we are really helping the children but this i cannot move because of this situation amen so god bless you everyone here thank you so much thank you byron gallis for a good faith learning for helping the power of god church And also Bradley Gladbridge Senior, who was helping that we we feed the childrens. Everyone send help. All of you, my prayers. Thank you so much, and good evening from here in the Middle East country. God bless you, everyone here. Thank you, uh, Brother Darenok. Uh, Dada Brad, thank you so much, everyone here. God bless you all.